It is beautiful outside on a crystal clear evening in Maryland. And we are live from the Nod Arena in Emmitsburg. You are watching Northeast Conference basketball. Tonight, it's the Robert Morris Colonials taking on the Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers. Score like Mount does, they've been inconsistent. You need shot blocks to trigger your fast break offense so you can get easy ones. Jean Cui with a simple field goal. Yeah, normally you don't see Mendy out there shooting jumpers. He hasn't attempted a three this whole year. John Williams for three. Now that's John Williams, but when he has an open three, he only averages four attempts. But we have, when he has an open three, you pretty much guarantee he's going to make at least two of them. The whistle was on Mendy. Straight on shot for John Cui. Check that. Bottle Morse around the world for John Williams. Brahma into the paint, strong move, and he gets the roll. AJ New 20 second shot clock, baseline. Morse leans in and knocks it down. Not an easy shot. Colonials down by one. Tracy, it splits like the Red Sea, so he takes the deuce. Yeah, that young man has really, really stepped up in his play. Averaging over eight a game is Dante Tracy. He has three tonight. Down low, working hard, and Malik Jefferson has the reward. His first field goal, he's got three points tonight. John Williams in the corner. Josh Williams, 4-3. His first triple of the night. Uh, but uh, made the assist, and uh, you can't let these guards from Robert Morris get their feet set. The three doesn't go for Hobway. Mendy with three fouls, and that's why Brahma is on the floor. He gets the bucket and the foul as the Colonials open up the lead to eight. A 37 to 21 advantage here on the scoreboard in the second half, and the alley oop for Brahma tonight. In complete control, McEwen for three. He has 12. That'll do it. The Colonials take care of business and knock off Mount St. Mary's 77 to 60. Coach, up three at half, second half. Number one, was that your best half of the season? And what'd you tell them at halftime? You know, we just talked to them about how it was going to be just as challenging a second half. You know, we, we, we thought that, you know, this game would be a grind all the way out. You know, when they made that run at the end of the half, we knew it was going to be close. We knew that we expected that kind of game. We didn't expect to come out and shoot it like we did in that second half. I thought we really executed and moved the ball. That's what we talked a lot about. Ball movement, body movement, good screening, you know, just keeping that ball hot. They do a great job of helping. They do a great job of rallying the ball. If you can make the extra pass, you'll find some good ones. And obviously we made them. So every coach wants someone to come off that bench to make a difference. This guy on my right, who we'll get to in a second, <laughs> did he make a difference tonight? Yeah, I think he was plus 21 as I just looked at the box score. And, you know, he seemed to be everywhere. You know, him, Savion McEwen, we had a lot of guys step up off the bench. And, you know, I think our guys understand that. You know, everybody comes off, they're aggressive. They're trying to make the plays that they can make to help the team. And obviously, AJ made a ton of them tonight. Well, you know, it's funny. You told me earlier that you don't run a lot of stuff for him, but your guys look for him. Your passing this year has been beyond description. I think you were like 18 assists, five turnovers. Talk to me about your ability to make the extra pass and that scoring pass. Yeah, the extra pass has been awesome for us. You know, and AJ always seems to be in the right spot. He has great instincts, when to cut, when to dive. The guys trust him because he's going to catch everything. And obviously, his ability to finish is super high level. So guys know that when they get in the ball, positive things are going to happen. And they're smart enough to figure that out. So you think you'll sleep well tonight? Uh, we got to get ready for Saturday. So you know, you know how this works, Joe. There's no sleeping well right now. Typical coach. Great job and good luck down the, down the stretch. All right. Hey, Jay, come on in here, my friend. Good. So uh, we had a chance to talk at your shoot around, and you told me essentially that you've accepted your role as a bench player, if you will. And I, I always say that coaches look for certain players to come off the bench to make a difference. Talk to me about the difference you made tonight. Uh, you know, I just try to come out and just compete, you know, and just play hard. So. You know, we came up with the W. So you, you got to enjoy playing for this team. Your assist to turnover ratio was off the charts. Tonight, your team was like 18 assists, five turnovers. They always seem to find you in a place where you can finish. You know, I have great teammates and great point guards. So, you know, and they believe in me too. So I appreciate that. You know, this is not an easy thing to do, AJ. I know this is your first time in the league, coming down to Mount on their home court and beat them by 17. What's your feeling on this club? Uh, they're a great basketball club, but, you know, we got to keep pushing. 
So you feel good about your team down the stretch? Uh, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. Good luck. Good job, AJ. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank